create a new report. I like creating new reports and focusing on the features that we've been discussing all along. So we're going to do a new analysis report using our sample B database again. In this particular report, we're going to want our hierarchy time this time. This is a pivot table, so we want this hierarchical data. When you do pivot data, you need this type of a relationship in your data warehouse. So we're going to pull uh, the time out, time hierarchy out, and we also want the products hierarchy. There's this particular database has a products hierarchy as well, so we can just double click on that. And then we want some base facts. We want build quantity first, and then we want revenue. And then we want booked amount. We want to add a filter. If our build quantity is null, then we have no, no reason to display the data. So we want to add a uh, build quantity is not null. And if we look at our data, we should get a nice report. And it takes a moment for OBI to, to formulate the data. I think the sample B database has considerably more data in it than it used to. Okay, we've got our results. We can drill down on total time and see, see different aspects of the data. So we see our tabular report. Now we, see, we can drill into our time hierarchy. We can see the arrows going down we have drilled in. We can drill down some more by each year and get each of these numbers. These are the totals by year. If we drill into the 2010, for example, uh, it will allow us to see detail under that. So that's really the power of drilling is OBIEE allows us to do this type of analysis. And now we can see by 2010, it drilled down by quarter, and we can drill down by month, and then by week. That's how the data is set up. Now, our pivot table has an edit area, and what we want, we set this up as a pivot table, but right now it's just columns, just showing us columnar data. We want to pivot based on that time. So we're going to go ahead and press the edit, and now we're going to see we've got our columns and our measured labels, and we want to put the time up there. So I'm going to grab the time, and I want 2010. It drilled down by quarter, and we can drill down by month and then by week. That's how the data is set up. Now, our pivot table has an edit area, and what we want we set this up as a pivot table, but right now it's just columns, just showing us columnar data. We want to pivot based on that time. So we're going to go ahead and press the edit, and now we're going to see we've got our columns and our measured labels, and we want to put the time up there. So I'm going to grab the time, and I want it above the measured label. Look at the little blue box. It doesn't show up very well, but it's above the measured labels, okay? We can see where we have it below, there it's below, and there it's above. And I'm going to drop it above, and then we get more of a pivot like this, and now I'm going to say done, and we can close up these pivots, and there's our Total products, we can pivot down on this. So now we can see the different products that we have, and there's our total time. We can click and drill out by time as well. Very good. Okay. Now we can see product by year. We can easily Go back to our criteria, add a filter for a particular year, however you want to drill down, and possibly speed up the execution time of the report. 
This report's going after a lot of data, doing a lot of work for us, and it's quite nice. So we can condense the columns back up. We can condense um, the time. And that's our pivot table. 